Hello, we've got a good good weekend to all. It's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for uh, Monday session, trading session, the uh, Monday, the 18th of uh, July 2016. Please be sure to visit tradesignal.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at tradesignal.com. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, the weekend um, uh, risk or geopolitical events, uh, risk events, we obviously know with regards to Turkey's uh, um, illegal military coup. Okay, some idiot based in America uh, by the name of Mr. Fethullah Gulen, uh, which obviously lives in Pennsylvania, sponsored by the Americans, attempted an illegal military coup. Okay, uh, killing, uh, shooting at innocent civilians at the Bosphorus Bridge. Okay, uh, bombing government buildings and um, TV stations. Uh, blatant acts of terrorism. Okay, blatant acts of terrorism taking the laws in their own hands. Totally illegal. Okay, sponsored by the Americans, housed in Pennsylvania. Just another example of oppression and subjugation. Okay, uh, and really, it's it's, it's imperialism, colonialism. Uh, uh, via you know, just, uh, shall we say, a discreet form of colonialism. And imperialism okay so again it's not good it certainly isn't good i mean america has enough problems at home with regards to their uh, the uh, black african population uh, how they suppress and subjugate them by killing them randomly in the street i mean if they have no rights no justice hence the reason why you have the hashtag black lives matter so uh, a lot of racism in america and really they have a gun control that's out of um, that's out of this world really i mean how you can uh, how the average individual can go ahead and purchase a gun killing innocent civilians randomly is just be totally beyond me so they certainly have a different psychology compared to the rest of the world i mean you have canada that's next door and they're civilized human beings but these individuals are unfortunately and it's, it's, it's barbaric really i mean it's uh, beyond my understanding beyond my comprehension but unfortunately that's what happens it's just a sign of decay social decadence okay uh, and again it's, it's sad times really it really is sad times especially in the uk now we have brexit and against you, you've got a lot of hate crimes. Hate crimes have increased by 50 to 60 percent now. Uh, xenophobia, racism, uh, bigotry, uh, lack of tolerance. It just it's a sign of the times, okay? This is a sign of the times towards the end of times in the um, in the prophetic tradition. It does state that there will be a, a rise uh, in intolerance, a rise in, in killing as well. And um, people again just concept of mercy is taking out people's hearts and that's exactly what we're seeing right now okay uh, and it obviously with regards to turkey very sad I'm glad that the coup was neutralized okay uh, and peace and stability reigns okay because it's very very important that you have stability in a government uh, in order to keep the country together okay otherwise it's, it's just anarchy and the last thing we as uh, western citizens need is is a bridge between the east and west which is known as a bosphorus Okay, uh, obviously very very important with regards to the uh, Turkey uh, Turkey situation. Obviously with regards to refugees and so on and so forth, uh, it's very important that we have a stable Turkey. Okay, in order to have a stable Europe. Okay, so uh, so that certainly is good news. So again, you're going to see potential risk aversion due to Turkey. Okay, uh, and then you certainly obviously we have risk aversion with regards to the uh, situation in um, uh, with the Bastille Day uh, terrorist attacks again. It's, it's a sickening reality uh, are how these uh, individuals are basically um, killing Muslims and non-Muslims. I mean, the ratio of Muslims to non-Muslims being killed is almost a thousand to one or even a hundred thousand to one. I think in excess of almost a million Muslims are being killed now in, in the name of terrorism uh, as opposed to uh, non-Muslims. But again, you can't, each life is equal. You can't state that a Western life is more dear than an Eastern life. Each life is equal and each life is, is, is basically needs to be respected. OK, so again, it's, it's, it's sad. Uh, but again, why is it occurring? It's because of this stupid Wahhabi Saudi regime. OK, that needs to be eradicated. That's the only way you're going to solve this problem of terrorism. OK, so again, it's this polluted ideology, sickening ideology that really even my spiritual master fought against for almost 10 years. 10 years he fought, fought against this sickening polluted ideology and yet nobody listened to and now everybody is, is is worried so it's very important that we understand the concept of wahhabism okay and the understand and understand how, what the effects of wahhabism are okay because it was a polluted ideology that was created 
uh, created in the in the 19th century. And look at the uh, concept of Lawrence of Arabia. Okay, the story behind that is very important for you to learn that and educate yourselves with regards to that. And that's where it all started from this polluted, um, uh, shall we say, cult-like uh, philosophy. Really, it's, it's sickening. Okay, it needs to be taken out. It needs to be neutralized, and and it will. Time will time will obviously be the judge of that, and history will be the judge. But it will get eradicated. It was eradicated historically, so it'll be eradicated again. And hopefully, we won't have this polluted, sickening uh, terrorist. And again, it's it's supported by these um, so-called warmongering uh, defense companies. Okay, these defense companies want perpetual war in order to uh, obviously line their pockets as well. So there's a lot of things going on in the background. Also, the proxy war with America versus Russia as well. You've had the situation in Ukraine, the situation in Syria. Now we're opening up another front in Turkey as well. So it's not as simple as black and white. There are other things and a hidden agendas behind this as well, folks. Okay. But our uh, our our obviously main uh, understanding and concept of traders is that we basically uh, read through the noise. Okay. So our job is to read through the noise, not to get too engrossed in the political uh, side of things. Again, we just need to know which way the market's going. Okay. So from my perspective, you're looking at uh, the situation in France, which is very sad. Okay, you can't justify killing innocent civilians. It's just no religion does that. You can't pinpoint it on any religion. Every religion is against that. Every single religion, okay, is against that. Okay, so humanity is against that. You can't kill innocent civilians. Point blank. There's no debate. Finish. You have to respect. In Islam, we have to respect the trees. We have to respect the animals. We're not allowed to touch the animals. Even a tree, if a tree is planted there, you are you. A tree has rights, okay. A tree has rights, an ant has rights. How can you even think about humans? It's just sickening. It's it's a really polluted, sickening philosophy, okay. The concept of suicide bombing is totally alien to Islam. It was it was invented by the Japanese, the kamikaze, okay. That's where it originated from. Historically, it was, it was, there's no such thing, okay. So again, it's. It just really baffles me and um, beyond my comprehension it just we really are living in crazy times okay crazy times crazy price action in the stock market as well so again so trades to be please be sure to visit tradesignal.com okay and uh, download the latest app via the google play and the apple app store okay in terms of price action then so we know we've identified uh, the turkish coup uh, illegal coup okay um basically um, that will obviously have risk aversion or risk off uh, tone and obviously the situation in France as well although on Friday the um, the French attack didn't really have much of a, a bearish impact on the uh, indices given the QE nature but now that we have a double whammy again it's going to be interesting okay so in terms of um, fundamentals that really is the uh, crux of the matter okay other than that I, don't, I can't really pinpoint anything major okay can't really pinpoint anything major in terms of uh, having a, a major movement in the market. So let's see exactly how the market is positioned for that. So let's bring up the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, so if I bring up the daily chart on the German DAX, you're into that 200 MA, which I explained on Friday. You're into that FIB 75% resistance, which I explained on Friday. So therefore looking for risk off. 60 minute chart of the German DAX, then you will have unfilled gap at 9930. You have previous resistance equal support at 9800. And then obviously you have gap fill at 9630. So don't be surprised if you fill the gap at 9600. I know that's one hell of a gap down, but again, the Turkish situation certainly has the ability to do that. So again, just be open minded, be, uh, understand that concept, okay? But yes, uh, 9600 certainly has the uh, possibility of being closed for uh, for Monday's trading. So bear that in mind. 10 minute chart, okay? As I look at the 10 minute chart here now, the German DAX, again, you had resistance potential lower high. Okay, so again, looking at gap fill, first of all, 9930. Uh, so again, 9930, first gap fill. Then the next gap fill is uh, 9830. So 9930, 9832, potential gap fills, certainly more than likely to, uh, to, be, to be closed. Okay, so that's your uh, German DAX. Let's look at the, uh, the actual French CAC now. French CAC, let's see exactly where this is positioned. Daily chart, the French CAC. You're, uh, you have a doji candle. You have FIB 75% resistance. Okay. Okay, so you have 75% resistance again, looking for weakness, looking for a potential move lower. 60 minute chart, you have this mini HNS formation, which I uh, was trying to draw. Let me just draw this again for you. Okay, so certainly a mini little HNS formation, taking that pivot low to here, to here. Left shoulder, head, 
and then right shoulder and down we go okay so again looking for a move lower okay okay so yeah again h and s formation so that's what we're looking for okay okay 10 minute chart you have an unfilled gap below at 4330 in the french cat then you have support at 4320 uh, 4300 and eventually gap filled and that's probably the gap that we are going to close at 4265 so again it's all about the uh, potential gap down for uh, the Turkish situation and obviously the French situation going into Monday daily chart the FTSE 100 finished uh, with a hanging man after a, a topping tail doji so again looking bearish 69 minute chart you have the H&S formation We're looking to retest the neckline at 6670 and therefore looking to flush lower so again your first support is 6615 and 6580 I'm certainly looking for 6580 uh, on the uh, on Monday given the situation in Turkey and France uh, and potential support of 6520 as well so these two zones are going to be very very important in terms of the uh, potential next move so bear that in mind okay so again retest that H&S neckline H&S target is 6580 so I expect 6580 6520 is certainly possible as well, especially given the fact that the BOE certainly didn't uh, go ahead with uh, additional stimulus or QE or uh, interest rates. So again, looking for a risk of tone on the FTSE 100, even though Chinese data certainly came in strong on Friday. Okay, so again, interesting. Okay. Euro stocks. Let's look at Euro stocks first of all. So daily chart. The Euro stocks at the moment. Fib. You have a uh, Doji candle. Fib 75% resistance. Okay, looking for risk aversion there. 60 minute chart again on the Euro stocks as a H&S formation. Your pivot high is uh, 2970. Your neckline is 2930. So you're looking at a uh, a 40 point drop. So you're looking at 2890. Uh, you have gap fill at uh, 2840. So again, looking for gap fill. Previous resistance equals support at 2890 as well, so watch out for that zone. Okay, and then you have the 200 MA at 2860. So again, watch out for 2860. But ideally, you're looking at gap fill support below, so uh, given the risk off tone, okay, in terms of uh, how the market gaps lower. Okay, again, that certainly seems to be a summation. Uh, oil prices certainly will potentially trigger higher, given the fact that uh, Turkey is uh, certainly threatened in the future and the... Uh, and the viability of Turkey as well, certainly potentially under threat, given the this coup attempt. So again, oil prices certainly will be, uh, will move, will look to move higher, certainly look to move higher, certainly look to move higher. And that way well help the FTSE to a large extent as well. Okay, so one can't get too bearish on the FTSE, but again, we shall see. Okay, it'll be interesting to observe how uh, price action moves on Monday, post the uh, Turkish coup and obviously the French incident as well. Okay, I think that's a uh, wrap up then in terms of uh, European markets. Certainly looking for a gap down initially. And uh, given the uh, QE nature, don't be surprised if the markets retrace the whole gap down and actually finish, end up being positive for the week because of QE. It's all about BLJs, bazooka. Okay, and all eyes remain on that bazooka. So QE, QE med is this um, current market. And given the fact that we've ignored and neutralized the whole of Brexit, don't be surprised if we neutralize this Turkish Q attempt as well. Okay, goodbye. Uh, have a good weekend. And I'm about to do the US video now. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. And certainly take advantage of that 25% cash bonus offer. Goodbye now.